a rental car company is purchasing compact and full-size cars to expand its fleet. The average cost is $10,000 for a compact car and $24,000 for a full-sized car. If a total of 800 cars is to be purchased with a budget of $12 million, how many cars of each size will be acquired? In any work problem, you want to start out by labeling your unknowns and what is known. Um, we are looking for the number of compact cars and the number of full-size cars. If I let X equal the compact cars, then Y would need to be the full-size cars. And we're going to be talking in terms of the matrix, so we want to set up our matrix equation. Uh, well, first of all, let's get the actual equations and then put it into the matrix. Um, we are looking for X and Y. We know that when you add X plus Y, when you add the number of compact cars plus the number of full-size cars, we're going to get 800 total cars. And we know that uh, the average cost of a compact car is $10,000 and the cost of a full-size car is $24,000. And the total cost, the total budget is twelve million. Okay, and so now we're going to set this up as a matrix equation: AX equals B. First matrix contains the coefficients of our variables. Second matrix contains the variables x, y, and the third matrix contains what they're equal to, 812 million. Okay, and remember we're following the steps of solving an equation using the inverse, so we need to find the inverse of the first matrix. Uh, first thing we do is find a D. which is 1 times 24,000 minus 1 times 10,000. 24,000 minus 10,000 is 14,000. So our inverse matrix is going to be 1 over 14,000 times the matrix. Remember, we're switching A and D and making B and C negative. Twenty-four thousand negative one, negative ten thousand, and one. And now it's not going to be a nice matrix. We're going to have fractions in here. And of course, you're just dividing twenty-four thousand by fourteen thousand. And for the sake of time, I'm not going to show specifically how you would do these calculations, but you'll want to go back and verify what I've done. But this is our inverse matrix. And now we're going to multiply our inverse matrix by our matrix on the right hand side of the equation, 812 million. Now remember, you're multiplying first row times the column, which after I do my multiplication I get 1,371.4 minus 857.1 and for the second row first column negative 571.4 plus 857.1 then after I simplify my final answer is 700 14.3, 285.7. Therefore, 714 compact cars and 286 full-size cars will be purchased in this case.